So, hello everybody! Nils and Norway are back again with Madame Glam again! <laughs> yeah, begin with the obvious my nails. Uh, they are long, they are pointy, um, like an almanetto type of style. These were really pointy like stiletto, but I bling them up as you can see. And this is how they came out. I have no idea when the video of these nails will come out. I have no idea. You will just hang in there. Please, please, please hang in there. <laughs> and be my loyal subscriber. Hit that noti notification bell so you get updates when I put out the video. And you, you will see me do these nails one day. And this is actually one of the colors that is inside this package. So you will see this color throughout this video. Well, over to Madame Glam again. I got this box. I could choose some goodies from them and I love that. So I chose a couple of their new builders and a couple of their holographic collection. This is Candy Cane. So this is short swatch. Let me see if you can take a good look at these because this, these are really pretty. They look almost brownish in this uh, light here, but they are dark purple. They shift in the light and especially daylight. And I will also show you a picture of it that I have taken of it. So. Let's see. Can you see that color? Ooh! Did you see that? And this was my favorite. I really love this one. And it's called Naughty Me. And you will see me swatch this color also. Or take a picture and put it out for you. This was this was beautiful. If you have for instance um, see-through tips and only took one coat of this, it looked like um, glass nails with holographic effect and that was really neat. Really cool effect almost had a Barbie, Barbie pink look to it, but I really love this. They have a new line of colored builders out and I had to see what I got in the mail from Malam Glam first and then I just went ahead and bought almost, almost the rest of the series. So this is their builders that I have got from them now. This is the coral and as you can see it is it is actually yeah a coral color so it is a beautiful soft coral color. The first one that they came out with I did a video way back when they came out. I will put a link down to the video if you want to check them out. But I gave away the darkest one because it did not fit my tone, skin tone. But that is a tone that is called tan. They still have this. And then I got a light beige. And as you can see this is the coral and this is a light beige. And they also came out with a light pink. I think this is the swatch I did way back. I believe it's three years ago. Let me show you. These are the are the first colors that they came out with. That was the light pink and the light beige and the tan. And later they came out with they came out with a French set as they I think they called it a French set because this is a 
baby pink so it's a lot brighter pink you will see the swatch stick of it and this is the ivory so I did I actually did not want the white one I will probably end up buying the white one but since I have the ivory I did not see any need for it I'm sorry about me jumping back and forward here but later they also came out with a, another darker color and then the brown the dark one is called you know the coffee latte lat in Norway we say latte I'm not sure what you say in, in English if this if it is the same or not but it's a darker brown and then they also came out with a clear and then I started noticing that I felt like the clear was a bit um, thinner in consistency. I have not checked it out actually. It's just when I applied this clear one, it felt like it was it was a bit thinner in the consistency. Let me see that now if if it is any changes. This is the old one. When I drag them out. You can see that this one does not run at all. It just stays on the on the brush, and that is for me that feels like it it, it has a thicker viscosity than than the newer ones. I felt like I struggled a lot more, but at the same time. I felt like it was easier to build before than now. If this is wrong, please just cut my head off and say that I'm wrong. Please let me know if I have or I'm wrong. And please, my glam, glam, do forgive me if I I am saying something totally wrong here. And this is lavender. This is a beautiful lavender color. This is so beautiful. Oh, I can see this in the spring with oh, lots of different encapsulations and so on. Some of them are creamy consistency, if you know what I mean. And some of them are uh, glassy. Emerald green. You can see the handle, how beautiful that color is. This is a gorgeous color. <gasps> Look at it when you get a lot on. No, you cannot see it. Oh, it is so beautiful. <laughs> I, I'm dying to do the sign with this one. I could not help myself. I ordered a few more. So I ordered these. I, I, I really want to kick myself for not buying the aquamarine I think. I want it, I'm going to buy it. So here we have Arctic, Arctic Blue. And this is a beautiful, almost, yeah, almost like a periwinkle but still a ba no, baby blue. Definitely a baby blue color. Oh! I feel like I want to do nails so bad. And here I have royal blue. And this one is also one of the glassy one. If you know what I mean. Or if you know what I'm talking about, you can see it. This is a beautiful glassy one. Uh, and the magenta. I hope that this is a glassy one also. Let's see. Yeah, it is also a glassy one. Oh, I really, really want to do nails. Look at that. Look how all you guys imagine can run free with these colors. These are so beautiful. And here we have burnt red. It's more of a dark coral than uh, a red. Burnt umber is uh, the n color name for for um, coral, <laughs> dark coral. 
something that is between red and and dark dark um, dark coral. Then we have violet. Oh, this is also a glassy one. Yay! I am so stoked about these glass ones. But I really love these soft ones also. But they each have different purples, purposes. You know what I mean? Different occasion, different designs, different and so on and so on. And this is brilliant yellow. <laughs> Let's see if it's yellow or if it has... Yes, it is re really yellow. It's like a dark yellow. No, I'm not sure if it's, if it's dark or not. I'm not sure. It's hard to capture a bright glass yellow, I would think. So, this, this, they have made a great job with this yellow. Wow. Beautiful. This is me meadow green. That was the colors. I'm sorry about the mess. Uh, and I have probably, hopefully, showed you the swatches here. And um, since Madame Glam is always so generous, since they gave me these colors, I think I am going to do one design with these two. I think so. And maybe some white or s some sparkly. Madame Glam, of course. <laughs> so, um, I hope you stay tuned. Also, please subscribe and hit that great bell so you get notified when I put out my next Madame Glam video. Because that may come right after this one. Because this is actually just supposed to be swatching of these ones. But it got a little bit longer. Sorry. Uh, but I felt like I had a lot to tell about the stories behind Madame Glam's Builder Gels. I just love them so much. So keep on watching!